Hello and welcome to this Pony Express how-to video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to perform a factory reset of your Pone Phone 2014. Now as you know this is a Nexus 5 device and on board this Nexus 5 we actually have an image containing the Ponex operating system. Now the benefit of having the factory reset feature is that it gives you an opportunity maybe in between pen testing engagements to, to ensure that the device has been properly and completely wiped of any sort of information that might be stored on the, on the phone, the result of various applications and tools being used. Another nice feature or use case of the factory reset feature would be that if you need to pass the phone from one individual to another, it would be very easy to do after you factory reset it, the phone can be reallocated for use by someone else. A third feature that I can think of, uh, another benefit of using the, uh, the factory reset feature would be that Again, with the Pwn phone, you have rooted access to the Debian uh, operating system. So you can install whatever applications desired. Of course, you can also install whatever you would like at the Android level itself. And as a result of, of this open nature where you can install anything desired, there's always that potential or risk that something should go wrong and the phone inevitably becomes borked, shall we say. So the nice feature of the factory reset is that it gives you an opportunity to return the phone to a fresh out-of-the-box state as if we had just shipped it to you. Launching Factory Reset from the admin tools, as you can see here, will present you with the option to select Factory Reset and then you'll receive a warning indicating that if you do choose to use this feature it will inevitably wipe all information from the phone. So be careful uh, when you make this choice. Once you choose continue there's no going back. This phone is now being wiped of all information. The phone will reboot and it will launch the Team Win Recovery Project, or TWRP as we refer to it. This is a, a software application that allows us to install images to a rooted device. What will happen here is that we're presented with a selection, a, a set of options if you will. You'll choose Restore. And then you'll select the image itself, which is Pone Phone Gold. There's only one image there. The default options are selected. And all you need to do is choose Swipe to Restore. Now once this process begins, the phone will go into a state where it will start purging, start deleting or wiping the data, and it will then eventually begin the process of restoring data. Now all in all, this is a process that will take mm, probably about three to four minutes uh, for it to complete fully. On the screen you will see periodic information scroll by indicating the status, but also at the bottom of the screen you'll see a progress bar. The progress bar might be kind of difficult to see, but there is a small uh, blue uh, um, indicator that will move from the left to the right. At the present time, my phone indicates to be about maybe 10% along in that process. Uh, don't be alarmed if the phone appears to be in a, a state where it you know, is just sitting there. Behind the scenes, it is in fact wiping the data and restoring the image. You have to be a little bit patient you will periodically see the bar jump. I have just now seen mine jump up to about maybe 15 or 20 percent. The screen itself hasn't really done anything much. Again, periodically it will reflect some information. In my experience it will jump to about 40 percent and then it will actually jump to about 65 or 70 percent and then you'll re receive an indication that the process has completed successfully and then you'll have a button that will allow you to reboot the phone. At this time, it's really nothing more than a waiting game. Now, personally, I myself, I like to keep the phone from going into a sleep state. So I will periodically just touch the screen in that open black space just to keep the screen alive, opposed to it slipping off into a, uh, a timeout state. Also take note that when you're performing this option, uh, the factory reset, ensure that your phone has been uh, fully charged, or at least above 50%. Not that it really makes a, a, a big difference, again, the process itself only takes about three to four minutes, but uh, you, this is not something you'd want to do with a phone that's on its last leg of a battery. So again, uh, the last thing you need to do is be in the middle of doing a restore and having your phone go uh, south. Uh, again, periodically just touch that screen to keep it alive. You can see the progress bar indicates that it's about, uh, I'd say, maybe 30% along. I'm expecting that jump any minute now from about 30 all the way up to about 70 and then you'll see the process will uh, likely finish uh, um, maybe less than a minute after that. So here you can see we're just going to have to wait patiently. Now again, uh, I can think of three different use cases for this feature. Um, you know, you might want to wipe it in, be in between engagements. There is obviously a feature on the phone that allows you to purge all log files. That's the, uh, the cleanup 
application. That will actually purge log files and only log files relevant to the applications that we provide on the phone for use. Um, if you've installed any sort of applications outside of what we provide, the, uh, the cleanup option is not going to do anything with respect to purging those log files. Uh, this feature, the factory reset, is ideal when you want to permanently, or I should say not permanently, but if you really want to wipe the phone of, of literally all information. Uh, there you can see we've jumped up now to about, I'd say about 90%. Uh, it's still in the state of restoring the system. Uh, any minute now, uh, we should expect to see that reboot option appear on the screen. And there it is, updating partition details. Uh, took 154 seconds to restore the data, 2 seconds to clear the cache, 44 seconds to restore the system. All in all, the process has completed in about 204 seconds. Now all we need to do is reboot the system. And once this has occurred, the phone will reboot. And we'll have the opportunity to swipe to unlock and uh, we'll have a nice clean phone phone 2014 ready for use there's our wonderful Google splash screen and there you have it Our unlocked Pwn Phone 2014, ready to go. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.